in 1961, uh, Dean Ritchie came to me. He was then, then the dean at Northwestern, and it was my first year in teaching. And he asked me if I would be willing to serve as the planning director for a continuing legal education program for corporate counsel. Well, I think I can say that I was here when it all began. I was with Standard Oil in the 50s and 60s here in Chicago, and one of the men on our staff was very active in a very small group that put this institute together, working with David. At the time that he came to me, uh, corporate general counsel and inside corporate law department lawyers uh, were not very well respected by the bar. Uh, and nevertheless, they were very, very serious, very dedicated people, and they wanted to have education. As time went on, uh, the role of the corporate counsel, and probably in many ways, in some ways at least, was supported by the Corporate Counsel Institute, it became somewhat more prestigious to be working for a corporation. What we did was to get the general counsel together. We said, what's new? What are you, what are you worried about? And uh, we then found out what those topics were, and in the early days, we asked uh, the, the most prominent lawyers in the fields to come and deliver basically a one-hour stand-up talk about what was new. It is basically, as I view it, an educational operation for corporate lawyers, uh, known throughout the country and attracts many people from around the country and from many states through the past 50 years. We started off with a bang. It was a wonderful marriage between corporate counsel, inside and outside lawyers. I think CCI is two things, really. One is the sort of obvious one in the educational component and an excellent way for practitioners to keep up with what's going on in the law, but it's also a place at where Chicago senior legal counsel and general counsels from major Chicago companies have an opportunity to get together and meet each other. We have a special relationship with a lot of people in the corporate counsel world, and I don't think there's any doubt about the fact that that is, to a very substantial extent, a function of this very, sort of very enduring and important uh, institute. Over that period, there have been at least 15 or 20,000 lawyers from around the United States attend this institute. Add to that 500 to 1,000 speakers, many of whom are at the very pinnacle of their profession. And so when you think of all of the honing of the skills of all of the lawyers that have been here, and the way this has to have added to Northwestern's reputation as a law school, I think it's been a great plus. One final observation I made is that, is that uh, Northwestern and David Reuter have benefited enormously from the energy and dedication of our corporate counsel friends in planning this institute. We've had a corporate general counsel as head of our planning committee now for 50 years. Uh, and we've had wonderful cooperation from, from all of the general counsel we've had as, as part of our, uh, our institute. And I want to offer my thanks to all of those people.